Did you know that if we replaced every car on the planet with an electric vehicle today, we would reduce the world's carbon emissions by a whopping 4%? Astonishing, isn't it? In recent years, the vehicular market has seen a surprising revolution. Electric vehicles, once a futuristic fantasy, have become a reality that's hard to ignore. Sales of these eco-friendly machines have skyrocketed, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. In fact, electric vehicle sales have grown an incredible 20-fold in the last decade alone. This exponential growth is not just a reflection of a passing trend or a fleeting fancy. No, it speaks volumes about our collective consciousness and our increasing concern for Mother Earth. With the escalating threat of climate change, our society is waking up to the need for sustainable solutions. And electric vehicles, with their promise of zero tailpipe emissions, seem to offer a viable answer. But it's not just the environmental aspect that's driving this electric revolution. Advancements in technology have played a major role as well. Ingenious inventions and breakthroughs have made electric vehicles more efficient, more reliable, and more affordable than ever before. The once daunting range anxiety is becoming a thing of the past, with some electric cars now boasting ranges that rival their gasoline counterparts. Charging infrastructure is expanding rapidly, and the time it takes to juice up an electric vehicle is decreasing. These factors together have created a perfect storm for the rise of electric vehicles. The surge in their popularity is a testament to our evolving preferences and our commitment to a greener future. Yet the journey of electric vehicles is not devoid of twists and turns. Despite this impressive growth, the question remains, are electric vehicles really the future? Electric vehicles come with a host of benefits that are hard to ignore. First off, they dramatically reduce the carbon footprint of transportation. Traditional gas guzzlers emit a hefty load of carbon dioxide, a key player in global warming. In contrast, electric vehicles emit zero tailpipe pollutants, offering a cleaner, greener mode of transport. But the environmental perks don't stop there. Electric vehicles also have the potential to run on renewable energy. Imagine a world where your car is powered by the sun or the wind, rather than fossil fuels. Solar panels on your roof could charge your electric vehicle during the day, or wind turbines could power it overnight. This not only reduces your carbon footprint even further, but also cuts energy costs. Speaking of costs, let's talk about maintenance. Electric vehicles have fewer moving parts than their combustion engine counterparts. No oil changes, less brake wear due to regenerative braking and fewer parts to replace. This translates into significant savings over the vehicle's lifespan. Moreover, electric vehicles are a delight to drive. They offer smooth acceleration and quiet operation. Imagine gliding down the road in near silence. No engine noise, just the quiet hum of electric power. But it's not just about the personal perks. Electric vehicles can play a pivotal role in our fight against climate change. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, we need to reduce carbon emissions to 45% below 2010 levels by 2030 to keep global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Electric vehicles powered by renewable energy could be a crucial part of this puzzle. However, like all good things, electric vehicles come with their own set of challenges. Despite their green image, electric vehicles are not without their drawbacks. As we delve into the shadows, we find a number of challenges lurking behind the shiny facade of electric vehicles. First on the list is range anxiety. This term refers to the fear that a vehicle has insufficient range to reach its destination and would thus strand the vehicle's occupants. Electric vehicles, while constantly improving, still typically offer less range than their fossil fuel counterparts. This concern becomes particularly prominent on long journeys, where charging stations may be few and far between. Next we come to charging times. It's no secret that refueling a traditional car is a matter of minutes, while charging an electric vehicle can take several hours. Fast charging technology does exist, but it's not as widespread as it needs to be, and it can potentially degrade the battery over time. Speaking of batteries, let's not overlook the environmental impact of their production. Mining for lithium, cobalt, and other materials used in batteries raises serious environmental and ethical concerns. These include deforestation, water pollution, and human rights violations in the mining communities. Then there's the issue of our current infrastructure. For electric vehicles to become truly mainstream, we need a massive expansion of charging stations, not just in cities but across the country. We also need to ensure our power grid can handle the increased demand. This is a colossal task that requires significant investment and time. 
Finally, what happens to the batteries when they reach the end of their life? While they can be recycled, the process is complex and not yet fully developed. This raises concerns about future electronic waste and the potential environmental impact. These challenges raise a critical question. Are electric vehicles really the sustainable solution we've been looking for? As we proceed, we'll examine why electric vehicles might not be the future, and explore the alternatives that could drive us towards a truly sustainable transport system. While electric vehicles offer a promising alternative to fossil fuel-powered cars, they may not be our ultimate solution. Curious, isn't it? After all the hype around electric vehicles or EVs, one might wonder why they aren't the silver bullet for our transportation woes. Well, there are a few reasons. For one, while EVs are indeed cleaner than their gas-guzzling counterparts, they still require electricity, a commodity often produced by burning coal or natural gas. This offsets some of the environmental benefits we expect from these vehicles. Then there's the issue of battery production. It's a resource-intensive process that involves mining for metals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. These activities are not only environmentally damaging, but they also pose social and ethical dilemmas due to poor working conditions in many mining communities. But let's not get too pessimistic here. There are other sustainable technologies vying for the spotlight. Take hydrogen fuel cells, for instance. These devices generate electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen, emitting only water vapor as a byproduct. Sounds perfect, right? Well, the catch is that hydrogen is difficult to store and transport and most of it is currently produced using natural gas. However, if we can find a way to produce hydrogen sustainably, it could be a game-changer. Biofuels are another contender. Produced from organic materials like plants and waste, biofuels could utilize our existing infrastructure with minimal modifications. The challenge here lies in producing biofuels sustainably without competing with food production or contributing to deforestation. The point here is not to discredit electric vehicles. They are a significant step in the right direction. But we need to adopt a more holistic approach to sustainability. It's not just about replacing our cars, but about transforming our cities, our industries, our lifestyles. It's about finding a balance between our needs and the health of our planet. In the end, the future of transportation might be more diverse than we imagine. So, are electric vehicles the future? The answer is not as straightforward as it seems. We've delved deep into the electric revolution, a journey that has taken us through the bright and dark sides of electric vehicles. We've seen the allure of electric vehicles, their potential to cut down on air pollution and reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. We've celebrated the strides in technology that have made them more efficient, more accessible and more environmentally friendly than ever before. But we've also glimpsed the shadows that loom behind the bright promise of electric vehicles. We've acknowledged the environmental cost of producing electric vehicle batteries and the challenge of sourcing the materials needed for their production. We've recognized that while electric vehicles themselves produce no tailpipe emissions, the electricity that charges them often comes from burning fossil fuels, creating a paradox that complicates the narrative of electric vehicles as a purely green solution. We've questioned if electric vehicles are indeed the future, and the answer we've found is nuanced. Yes, electric vehicles have an important role to play in the future of transportation. They are key players in the fight against climate change, champions of innovation, and symbols of a future where technology and sustainability go hand in hand, but they are not the only players on the field. The future of transportation is not a one-horse race. It's a marathon where electric vehicles run alongside other sustainable technologies like hydrogen fuel cells, biofuels, and even innovations still in the womb of scientific research. The future calls for a more holistic approach to sustainability, a strategy that doesn't put all its eggs in one basket but rather harnesses the power of multiple sustainable technologies. It's a future where electric vehicles coexist and collaborate with other green innovations, each contributing their strengths to the collective goal of a more sustainable world. While electric vehicles are certainly part of the solution, they might not be the silver bullet we've been hoping for. The future of transportation is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted solution, and that, dear viewers, is the real takeaway from our journey into the world of electric vehicles.